Hi everyone, welcome back to interview sessions with Harsha. Let's move on to our session. Hi Harsha. Hi. Let's go to our first question. Okay. Explain about the use of report definition rule. Okay. A report definition rule can be used in order to retrieve the data from the data types. So, we can retrieve the data from the tables which are rule based tables of PEGA or even we can also retrieve from the external tables that is also possible. See ultimately we need a report definition rule to be created when in case we would like to fetch the information records from the table and we wanted to utilize it for some processing purpose or we wanted to display the data in the UI like we can display in two different formats like we can display like a list format or we can display the data like a chart format. So, list format will look like a table, chart format is going to be called as a summary format of the report. So, we can display like a list format or a summary format by using report definition rule. Okay, we move on to next question. By default, what are the maximum number of records that a report definition rule can retrieve? Okay, so now a report definition rule can retrieve a maximum of 500 records by default. So, th this is going to be specified under the report viewer tab and this 500 records will be retrieved and that can be uh, loaded onto clipboard in a page list format. Okay, next question. Is possible to override this value from 500 to another number? What will be the maximum number? Okay. A report definition rule can fetch by default a maximum of 500 records. It is possible to override this value to a maximum of 10,000 because PRPC clipboard can hold maximum of 10,000 pages in a page list. So that's how in the report viewer tab where it says maximum number of records to retrieve, we can go ahead and choose the uh, uh, write the value of 10,000. And even more than that doesn't work out, we can write up to 10,000. Okay, we will see one business scenario. We have a business requirement. We have a report definition with max limit of 500. This report is fetching maximum records of 500 in sandbox, dev, QA, UAT and fraud. But the requirement is like this. The same report should fetch 500, 1000, 1500, 2000, 2500 respectively in the above environments. How to achieve this? Okay. So the question is, there is a report definition rule by default, it is fetching a maximum of 500 records. I created this report definition rule in dev environment, I executed it. See this report definition rule, when it is moved to um, QA, UAT, I mean like maybe it is there in first sandbox and their development, QA, UAT and production. Everywhere it will function the same way, it will fetch 500 unless you do not update the value there. But now the question is, the same report when I move it to different environments, like if I move this report definition rule to development, uh, sorry, when it is in sandbox, it has to fetch 500. When I move this report definition to development, there it has to fetch 1000. The same report when it is running in the respect to QA environment, it should be 1500 and UAT 2000 and production 2500 should be the value. Then how to achieve this? So in order to achieve this, we need to deal with the report settings. So, there is no option we need to touch on the report definition rule. We leave the report definition rule. But this is a common for every report. Let's say now we have settings to be done going through configuration landing page on PRPC environment. On top of Pega rules process commander environment, we have configuration landing page. Then we need to choose reporting. After reporting, you need to click on settings. In the settings page, it is going to display resource limits for retrieving the data in that you see the maximum number of records to retrieve 500 and beside this 500 there is an option edit option when we click on edit option it is going to open one more tab in the tab you will see the details like production level and maximum number of records production level you see sandbox 500 and UAT oh sorry development 500 UAT 500 QA 500 live 500 now what do we need to do is sandbox anyhow our requirement is to retrieve 500 we leave it as it is and now in place of development we change it to 1000 and in place of QA we change it to 1500 in place of UAT we make it 2000 and for production we make it 2500 that's how if the settings are being done in all the servers of PRPC environment on all servers 
then the same report when it is there in sandbox it will retrieve only 500 and this particular same report is there in development it is going to retrieve 1000 records and when this report is taken to QA environment it will retrieve 1500 and in UIT 2000 and in production 2500 accordingly. So that is where we need to make the changes in the settings of a report rule uh, sorry uh, in the settings of overall reports configuration going through the configuration menu okay i hope you understand this okay let's move on to next question what is the difference between class join and sub reports okay see in a report definition rule we can implement joins see there are multiple joins available out of which class join is the one and another one is sub report class join is just straightforward one table will be uh, joined with another table for matching records or for all the records or for the left side records like that. See class join we can specify under the data access tab. So the present class in which you are creating report definition rule this one if you want to join with another class in the class joins you have an option of choosing the second class which you wanted to join. We can add more than one class as well. So class join is going to retrieve the data of matching records from the both tables at a time. Okay. When you run this report, table 1 and table 2, both tables data combined it is going to retrieve at a time and display it in the UIR. Maybe it will get it onto clipboard. And now coming to the second one, sub report concept is different. Sub report concept is like where sub report means you are going to call one report definition rule and another report. So, whenever you are calling sub report, whenever you execute a main report, the first rule that gets executed is sub report. After sub report is executed, the result of sub report will be submitted to the main report. Suppose if I am creating a one report definition rule, sub report, where I have retrieved the data and I will be getting one result set. Now, when I run the main report, in the main report, I can add some condition while calling the sub report like condition let us say for, for example a is so column of main report is equal to column of sub report result it is not actually sub report column see sub report is something where the child report will run first whatever the result set that is being retrieved on that result set the main report can have conditions being implemented while it is being retrieved so that is how sub report is different from class join class join means both both tables data will be retrieved at a time. In case of sub reports, first sub, date, sub table report data will be retrieved. The results that are being retrieved on top of which main report will run and filter the data further to display. Okay. So, this is the difference between class join and sub report. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to Harsha training channel. From now onwards, we will be giving Pega demo for every weekend. So, please call our WhatsApp on 9652532753 for more details. If you have any questions, please comment it in comment box and subscribe to Hasha Training channel. Thank you.